For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone. We continue our preview of the 2013 Wildcat football team with a look at the defensive line. We've got junior from Archer City, Colby Rowe. No relation, the new defensive line coach, Andre Rowe. Coach, we'll get to you in just a sec. Colby, let's start with you and, and your role on this team. Starting defensive end, you started a couple of games last year, but now the, the, the mantle really has been handed off to you. Uh, tell me how you feel like spring and now the summer camp have gone in uh, that new role with added responsibility. Yes, sir. I feel like we've uh, definitely progressed, uh, actually having some experience now and uh, being able to be a leader on the defensive line and knowing really what to expect and being able to push guys to what they need to be. Tell me a little bit about this unit because you've got Nick Richardson, an explosive player. We saw him in the first game against McMurray last year with six sacks, which tied a, a school record. And then you've got a couple of guys now, second year that ACU's been in that 4-3 look rather than the 3-4. As a unit, how do you feel like uh, your guys are playing? Uh, I feel like we're playing great, just taking steps every day. I feel like uh, the 4-3 has been able to get more players on the field defensive line-wise, so uh, it's been able to open us up to make more plays. Great. Uh, Coach Rowe, let's talk to you now. Your first year at ACU. Now, you're, you're used to purple Wildcats. Uh, you, you come from Kansas State. I do. Yes. Um, your first experience now. You've just been here for a, a, a few months. What have you seen from your D-line, including Colby and Nick and the other guys on the interior? Well, we're still coming together. Um, okay. I see a lot of great great spot, great things that uh, our, those guys could provide. Uh, Nick, is, he's, he, he does a really good job coming off the edge. Uh, Colby does a re really good job coming off the uh, strong side edge. and I, I'm really fired up and excited about, about that opportunity to coach those two guys. Let's talk about your defensive tackles and what you expect from them this year uh inside you know i expect those guys to be to be a little tougher uh getting getting handling a double team getting explosive getting vertical upfield um those guys and they they've really put in the work to get that that stuff done so uh, i'm kind of excited where, where they are right now still looking to improve a little bit but we're doing well so far when you uh, think big picture about a defensive line, what do you want to see from that unit? What in your coaching way of thinking do you want to see from them? All right, the mindset. All right, the mindset is what we need to 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 kind of change as far as that defensive line. We want I want them to be physical. I want them to be able to get off the ball, get get vertical, be able to play with their hands, get separation, and get after the quarterback. Uh, get, also get after ball carries. So you know the progression is there. The progression is there, and it's still going to be. It's still going to be a uh, working process, but I mean, we, we're getting there. Uh, last thing, you have some really talented athletic guys, but it's also important, isn't it, that that the guys are where they're supposed to be and that they follow their assignments? Oh yeah, definitely. They have to fit their gaps, have to be able to squeeze, uh, have to be able to, to, to take up take up their gaps because we're on gap sound defense. So they, I mean, it's imperative that they, they do their jobs. It gets started on Saturday night against Concordia College for defensive line coach Andre Rowe and for junior D-end Colby Rowe, I'm Grant Boone for ACUsports.com.